Hello everyone and welcome to Sapient. Today we will see how to create a case object inside a Salesforce account and how to generate a XHD based on that case object. After that, we will send the payload through Postman and absurd that data in Salesforce by Cloud Platform integration. So before starting, if you want to know how to create a free trial of Salesforce developer edition account and how to create a connected app to set up connection for uh, SAP, CPI and Eclipse, you can check out my previous video which I have provided in the description down below. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. So first we will create a case object. How can we do that? You can uh, go into Lightning Experience or Salesforce Classic, whatever you want. Okay, from here. Uh, I'm creating the case object from the Lightning Experience. So to do that, you just simply have to go into the setup from here. I am already in the setup option. Now you have to go into the object manager and go for the case here then fields and relationships after that you have to create a new yes so now you have to give here the data type of what kind of type your case object is here we are providing the text you can give any data type here from the list as per your requirement then next then you have to provide the field label by default it will get uh, print in the field name as well like this length you have to provide based on your requirement the maximum length you can provide here is 255 after that we have to select this as a unique because we don't want any duplicate data in our list uh, also we will take here as external id why because for the external system also we don't uh, want any duplicate data we want this data as a unique as well for the external system as well okay so after that we will simply go to next then we will select uh, the field security for our profile uh, we can check box for this visible or read only visible means you can uh, read and write now read and write means you can uh, See the data you can fetch the data and You can also update delete or add new data as well if you select read only you can uh, Only fetch the data you can only see the data. So based on your requirement uh, you can select the field level securities uh, we are uh, leaving this as by default for now then we simply click on next after that we will see how to add to the page layouts okay so we can select these layouts and leave it as a by default as well for now then simply click on save so our inquiry id 2 has been created as you can see here I have already created a previous inquiry ID so I will use this same inquiry ID in the previous video I have already covered how to authenticate connection for Salesforce account and how to set up Salesforce adapter workbench perspective in Eclipse so I will skip that part here if you want to go through that video you can check out the link in the description okay so let's begin now we will generate xhd why because if you are familiar with cloud platform integration uh, you will know that uh, in message mapping we will need xhd files to map a value to other value we need a source xhd and a target xhd so what we are doing here we are generating xhd for those kind of stuffs to map values from each other okay so we will simply go to the xhd generator then select the version 
and type as a rest and operation if you remember we want to use the absurd with external id so we will simply select that after that uh, we will search for the case object this is it yes now we will generate the xhd now as you can see we already got the xhds for request and response as well okay for now we just on want this uh, request xhd what we can do is we can copy this xhd to any file of xhd or you can uh, save your own xhd file to your desirable folder or any path okay so i have already saved this xhd file now we will use this xhd file in the target uh, value of the message mapping to map the values okay now we will uh, jump to the integration flow of sap cpi so now we will see the integration flow in sap cpi and the configuration and how it works so we will simply send the data uh, from postman by using this https adapter we will simply give the address like this and the data we are sending is this ticket number and email address account number origin subject priority details uh, all these i will explain it later so this is the json format data which we are providing in the sap cpi okay after that we will simply call a local integration process by using this process call palette function and we and the data uh, will go inside this local integration process and it will simply convert the data to xml okay uh, we are sending a json data so it will convert the json to xml by using this json to xml converter palette function after that we will create properties of the fields which we are providing through postman this is the fields account number and ticket number okay this account number and ticket number after also the entire payload we will save it in the message like this after that we will use a query by using those properties this is the salesforce adapter i have given the credentials here uh, to know how to give the credentials of salesforce account the connected app you can watch the previous video okay the link i have shared in the description down below you can go there and watch it yeah so we will in the processing tab we will uh, select the rest type and select the query execute query the version the query we will use here is uh, we have to fetch the account number and based on that account number we have to uh, post the data which we are providing from postman okay so this is the query sql query which is select id from account where account number equal to the property which we have created in the content modifier this is the method to call a property okay after that we will go into another content modifier and we will create a account id property of the id okay i will explain it later what id is actually now uh, as you have created the um, xhd from the eclipse oxygen you have to simply add those xhd file here in the target section okay and this xhd you have to create your own i have provided this xhd uh, file okay for uh, to use mapping to this side okay i have provided this mapping xhd file in the description you can check out that and you can upload it here so for mapping uh, for account id we will fetching the account id from the groovy script this is the groovy script 
as you can see we are fetching the account id from the account id property which we are created in the content modifier in the previous step okay so we are using a groovy script to fetch that account id property from here so we will simply click on ok after that we are uh, mapping the requester email to supplied email and rest of the stuffs to the same like origin to origin and description to description priority to priority and subject to subject after that we will simply click on ok we use another request reply this time we, we are using this request reply and the salesforce adapter to post the payload which we are sending from postman again the same credentials and this time the absurd method as you remembered we are using the absurd method here and absurd means update or add the data okay the object is case and the external id name is inquiry id which we have created in the salesforce as you remembered the query the query id is the ticket number here which we are providing in this content modifier as you remembered sorry for this yeah ticket number this ticket number is the inquiry id okay which we have created in the salesforce account as an object case object this is the ticket number and this ticket number we are first uh, creating a property of query id and after this query id we are sending to the inquiry id which we have created in salesforce so basically that uh, ticket number is working as a inquiry id here we are creating a new inquiry id as a ticket number okay after that we will again uh, convert the xml to json because the salesforce uh, requires the format as a json not xml so we will convert the json again now we will uh, simply save and deploy this integration flow i have already deployed it as you can see this is started so what we need to do is go into the postman paste this endpoint give your integration flow authorization here and in the body select raw format as json you have to send this payload okay you have to simply uh, click on send i have already created it so it is saying that created true if i send it again it will uh, give me a response of created false why because i have already created an inquiry id based on this number ticket number so what we'll do is we will change this as um, let's say nine two we will send this again yes so as you can see it is a cre uh, it created a new inquiry id for me in the salesforce so let's check it in this salesforce account case So as you can see the timing and date uh, it is of today okay and uh, the new case object is created here let's see this case number yes the web email the case origin is web priority medium okay and the inquiry id which we are providing from the ticket number so uh, and you can see the status as case created okay so like this you can uh, update or add new case objects 
from the SAP CPI cloud platform integration and create a case objects and update by in the Salesforce. Okay, so this is how it works. In the next sections, we will see another topics like composite or bulk API like that. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next session.